Gem Pages Review and Beginner's Guide for Shopify. My name is Elias and in this video I'm going to give you guys a full review about the Shopify Page Builder Gem Pages and we're going to cover if it's actually worth using. This video also includes a free beginner's guide for Shopify that shows you how to get started with Gem Pages so that you know how to actually start building your own pages. Now as you can see right here, uh, Gem Pages is actually built for high converting pages without code. So you won't be actually you won't actually be needed to code anything for this, you won't need any CSS or HTML and basically Gem Pages can help you with optimizing your conversion rate. Now one problem that a lot of Shopify stores actually face is that more or less all of the shops do look quite similar. As you can see all of the product pages most of the time have the product images on the left, product description on the right, at the cart button, basically all, all, everything just looks similar and that's because most of the people that use Shopify actually use some of the free themes right here which is not a problem to get started I guess however it really hurts your conversion rate and basically gem pages can help you with that by building your own custom pages as you can see right here gem pages can actually help you the, to design seasonal sales pages landing pages home pages product pages collection pages and also tons of other pages like our story pages or also like FAQs. Now gem pages actually seamlessly integrates into most of the Shopify apps that you will most likely need. As you can see you will have basically everything that you need. You will get vitals which in my opinion is actually really nice and you will also get tons of email marketing apps. As you can see you will get Clavio, Omnisend as well as Firepush. I've actually never heard of Firepush but yeah you will also get uh, things for customer retention as well as order tracking and so on. So basically you will get all of the integrations that you will most likely need. Now one other thing which I would actually like to mention is that Gem Pages actually has astonishing results and astonishing reviews. As you can see almost everyone is, is basically satisfied with Gem Pages and if you're going to look at the Trustpilot reviews we can see that Gem Pages actually has a rating out, out of 5 which is almost unheard of. Normally four stars are already pretty good on Trustpilot but this page has five stars which is great. Gem pages actually currently work on a new version which, which is called version 7 where they are going to implement a lot of new AI features so maybe by, maybe by the time that you watch this video this is actually already rolled out but as you can see right here on the video as it seems this will just make your store editing process way easier and way faster. Now when it comes to the pricing Gem pages is actually one of the cheaper options depending if you are going to go for the yearly option or the monthly option. As you can see for the monthly you're going to pay $30, I'm sorry $29 per month for the cheapest plan. However Gem Pages is actually also going to offer you a 100% forever free plan for one published page. So you can basically only customize and design one page. However it's also completely free and you will get most of the features that you will most likely need to get started and to get a feeling for Gem Pages. Now as you can see if you're going to go for the build option you can actually get started designing free unlimited page types and also you will get A-B testing and high speed CDN. Now A-B testing is a feature which I really like and which a lot of competitors to gem pages actually not offer. Now if you're going to go for the yearly option this is only costing you $23 and the next option would be the optimized plan. Optimized plan will get you unlimited pages premium templates and you can also publish scheduling. So if you're already advanced, if you already have quite a big store, then going for the optimized plan is actually worth it in my opinion. And for the enterprise plan, you will basically get all unlimited features. Now to actually get started installing gem pages, I will leave you the link down below to do that. And you will just have to head over to the Shopify app store and click on add, and click on add app right here. And as you can see, now we are on the gem pages dashboard. You can get a quick starting guide if you want to, however I'm just going to skip that. And on the left we can actually get started building our landing pages. Now as you can see we can either la uh, build a landing page, home page, product page or a collection page or also a blog post. Now as for this video I will actually go and build up my own product page and then I'm going to click on create new template. Now one thing which is also worth noticing is that gem, uh, gem pages 
actually do offer quite a lot of templates if you want to use them. Now for this video I will actually go with Scratch, but if you're going to build up your own page, Gem Pages is going to offer you quite a lot of products. As you can see, you, you, they have products for product pages, they have templates for product pages, landing pages, home pages, collection pages and so on. Now, as you can see right here, first of all, we will have to assign a product to this page. We can do that by clicking on the assign product uh, pop-up and then by selecting pr the product that we want to sell. I will go with the oversized t-shirt on my shop. Now, this is just an example shop. I I'm not actually selling a t-shirt actually. Um, so as you can see, now it's updated and now it's automatically added all of our images on the left. Now, if we want to, we can also get started um, designing everything. So for example, I will just um, I will click on the image right here and then we can design the settings and the visibility. So for example, we can add a zoom if we're going to go, uh, if someone is going to hover through the uh, image, they can zoom onto the uh, onto the picture. Um, now, I think this is the zoom is quite a little bit too much. So we can actually decrease the zoom, maybe something like, yeah, something like this does actually work better. We can also add a badge, which can help with conversion rate. However, I will just leave this off. And as for the alignment, we can also uh, mess around with this however i would just leave it at uh, at the normal uh, at um, at the middle basically now we can also change the product image so for example if we're going to display something we can also say okay let's for example display the first image from the shopify admin page now in this case this is the exact same image but we can also select videos from shopify admin which i, I personally didn't upload but you have that option if you want to basically now we can also get started um, customizing the image list. So for example, we can change the image spacing, also the style in general. So I will go for the slider maybe. And as you can see, this just, in my opinion, looks way better. It looks and a little bit nicer. We can also add dots to navigation and the loop if we want to. So that, as you can see right here, this actually only works on live page. But I guess if you're going to activate loop, uh, this is automatically going to uh, slide through all of the pictures. We can also enable the light box if we want to, which in my opinion is unnecessary and we can also set up stuff like video inline and so on. We can also set up a custom style guide by clicking right here on global style and by then clicking right here on create new, P uh, new preset and then on new preset right here. And then we can first of all change all of the fi all of the colors the way we want to. So for example, we can use a colors palette tool like Colors Co to actually get nice looking colors for your, for your store. So as you can see, uh, we right here we can actually just generate a color palette which we could then use for our store and if we're going to um, set the colors right here all of our store colors are actually going to be aligned to these colors we can also change the text we can first of all change the font so if we want to we can actually um, first of all use any of these google fonts now i personally always really like the poppins font so i guess i will just use that for now and we can also actually um, add our theme fonts from the theme that we have on shopify then i'm just going to click on save and as you can see now this is going to be updated if we're going to select poppins right here i'm also going to select poppins like this and if we're now going to click on preview on this page right here we can see the direct changes However, we'll just leave this for now as we would have to um, save everything. And you can basically customize everything the way you want to by just selecting the element and then using the, uh, the different kind of settings on the left. Now, if we want to add some more elements and some more blocks to this, you would just have to first of all click on the blank page and then on the left you can see all kind of different things which we can actually add to our landing page or to our product or to our product page my bad now for example we could actually add uh, let's say that we want to add an image under the product so as you can see this would be an image that we could add now obviously we would want to change this to our product image so to do that we would just have to click on replace image right here and then for example i've just uploaded our image showing off the clothing so as you can see something like this would actually look pretty nice in my opinion we could also add some things like pricing so for example if we want to um, go more about the pricing if we have a kind of a hard to understand pricing model we can then explain everything right here right here for example under the drop element we could then for example add a text block right here so that we can then um, we can then explain everything the way we want to. So, some, for, so for example, the beginner guide only will get you uh, limited features. Now, in my case, for the t-shirt, this doesn't actually make sense. But depending on what kind of product you're going to sell, this is going to be useful or not. So we'll just delete this for now. 
Now one other thing which I actually really like to use on my personal product landing pages is this before and after module. Now as you can see by using this we can just show the effects of our product. Now once again this doesn't make sense for the t-shirt but for example if you're going to sell any kind of beauty related products this can really make a difference and can really bump up your conversion rate. If you want to display all of your product features you can also add the icon list right here to basically say okay um, product feature one for example um, and then and then this is and then this is going to be product feature number two um, product feature number three and so on now one other thing which i would actually highly recommend you guys to do is customizing this page for other devices like for example mobile now most of the pure no most of the people nowadays are probably going to visit your store on their mobile phone so it is really important to actually customize this the, so that it's it's customized for mobile basically now most of the time um, Gem, Gem Pages does a really good job with this. However, if you want to change anything, you can do that by looking at the mobile display right here. Now, once you're ready, you can then click on save and you can then preview your website. And once you're completely ready, you can then publish your website to your Shopify store. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, you can always leave them down below. I've also made videos about other Shopify page builders, which you can see on the screen right now.